Hi everyone, uh, my name is Daniel. I'm going to make a short review of uh, the um, R6008HS uh, Futaba receiver. It's a receiver um, having a high speed um, mode and a normal speed mode. That is, it is uh, 7 milliseconds uh, faster response time than uh, the normal Futaba series receivers. Uh, and uh, I would like to make a short demo of that. To my help I have this um, normal 4.8 volt uh, battery and uh, the R6008HS receiver. So um, to show you um, the difference in speed I'm using this uh, uh, JR servo. It's a DS8717. Uh, you can see here. It's the one, um, and uh, yeah, let's connect uh, and show how things work. Uh, to begin with, put the battery into the battery port. Seeing it's in normal mode, we don't get the dual LEDs showing. It's just a red LED shortly after switching to green light. Um, if we connect the servo, for simplicity, we put it on the second port and connect the battery and we see we have um, a certain response time so if we compare it to the to the stick movement you can see it's how it follows its some lag towards it's, I get the feeling I can slop around like a rope or something it's lagging a little bit. Uh, so let's switch up to um, high speed mode. I'm using a screwdriver. Don't do that. Uh, just use a uh, plastic, um, the plastic driver that comes with uh, your radio equipment. To do this uh, we uh, remove the battery, hold the link mode button, hold it down and insert the battery and it goes into programming mode. Now showing us with the red blinks it has a normal speed and now that we release it, it gives us dual LEDs, both the green and red and then switches to green. That's It has changed and the manual specifies we should remove the battery and restart the receiver and we see, did you see that? It's going into a uh, dual blink mode. Let's do that again. You see it's kind of kind of a dual before it switches to the green to the green um, I'm telling it's ready to run. So uh, now to see the difference I show it like this and you see it's much harder for me to run away from from the from the servo. And to get a direct comparison of that, let's program back. So, and we're back to normal mode. And let's check this. You see it's... It's lagging a bit. Back to the high speed mode again to see the difference. Oops. You see, it's not that big of a lag. So, uh, that was what I wanted to show you. Uh, if you're making your own compressions, uh, I will show you that um, the normal mode is the same speed as the Futaba uh, R standard, just for compression. So, uh, the channel 2 and the servo, oops, wrong way. There we go. And the battery, there we go. We see it's starting up. 
And if we now compare here, you can see it's it's having the same lag as in in the normal mode. So that was all I wanted to show you. I hope this helps some of you to decide uh, whether you should buy a high speed or a normal speed receiver. Thank you.